Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your monthly reading for October 2017. I have pre-shuffled these decks for you. Now this may or may not resonate because it's for hundred, hundreds and thousands of people. Some of it may and some of it may not. I want to thank all my subscribers, watchers, supporters, and commenters. If you want to be a subscriber, you hit the subscribe button and then you can come back to me easily. If you want notifications every time I upload a video, you hit the bell next to the subscribe button. What do you have for Pisces? The center of your reading signifies Pisces. It is the moon, but it's also the card of Pisces. We have Pisces here as well, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I am going to zoom this in. I'm sorry, I'm just going to bring this up a little bit so that I can bring it down. Alright, so the basis of your reading is the moon card, which signifies you. Um, it just basically says that um, maybe there's some kind of secret that you're aware of. Uh, that's not really a secret because it is a card of secrets as well. Um, and, and I see that there's been some pretending underneath it with this. This is pretending, ignoring a situation, okay? So you maybe may have been pretending or resisting a change even because we have the two of pentacles right above it. So it looks like, I mean, with two twos right next to you, basically, there's some kind of choice or decision that needs to be made this month, okay? And it's probably a big one because you have the world here in this spread. So there's probably a decision that needs to be made that will affect a good portion of your life in the future because the world... When the world comes out, I consider it to be something long-term, a new chapter, a new phase of your life that is going to be long-term. So I think you have a decision to make that is going to affect your long-term future, okay? Um, I see you might be thinking about somebody from the past. Could be somebody that you have dated or it could be somebody from your childhood. But I think you have somebody from the past on your mind. Um, could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. We have the Page of Pentacles here. Um, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, which is you, but you also could have another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and we have a Leo so far in this reading. I see this month um, you're still concentrating on your job quite a bit, probably putting a lot of effort into your work and in, in, into advancement. I think that you have built a pretty strong foundation either in your career or whatever, your place of employment, you've built a good strong foundation and I think that you, you're you receiving some um, rewards for all your hard work, put it that way. It looks like you are, it looks like you're being re rewarded for all your hard work in some way. Either it's just recognition or it could be you know a raise of some sort. I do see some some kind of recognition here. I think that maybe you might put a lot of time into work, maybe even more than you need to. You might need to take a break. Maybe you need a little vacation from work, okay? I mean, that could be the case. It, it, you may need a little vacation because I see that there's a time of rest needed up here next to this Seven of Wands, which tells me that it's been like, it hasn't been easy to get this recognition that you're supposed to get. You've had to work hard at it, all right? Um, I see that you definitely need to take a break, though. I do. You have, it, you have it here and you have it here. This is the Nine of Swords. It's almost like a depression or an illness or anxiety of some sort or some kind of worry. But that could be going away because we have the strength right next to it, which says that you have a lot of confidence and willpower this month and 
you might be feeling very attractive. You probably are looking very attractive as well, period. Um, I think that you've just, you've been through a lot and you've got a lot behind your belt. You have a lot of life experience behind your belt. And um, so in any worry that's up here, I think it's minor. I don't think you have any major worries at this time because you're so confident and strong. Um, we have the seven of pentacles. I think that you are a dreamer and a doer. Okay, this month you or your dreams are starting to come to fruition. You've invested a lot of time into something and a lot of it is career wise. Okay, I think you've invested a lot into um, your career and things are finally starting to pay off. I'm going to start shuffling the other deck. <laughs> Your dreams could be very vivid at this time, so pay attention to your dreams. I think you're very intuitive. I think that you, um, with the moon card right there in the middle, and it signifies you, you may be um, replacing fear, okay, um, with, um, hold on, a card just, a couple cards just fell. You may be replacing fear with, with, um, no fear, you know, you might be feeling very comfortable with your decisions, which I think that you are. I think that you are. I think you do have to make a big decision, though, because we have two, two twos right next to you, okay? And those are about ch uh, choices and decisions, so you definitely need to make some kind of decision about something. Could be about a partnership, because twos are often about partnerships, Um Business-wise, I think things are going very, very well. I think you're a master of your emotions. And you might come off as secretive to people, but I don't think that you are. I think you're very alluring this month. I think that you are absolutely glowing and shining, okay? I do. With this card, this card, this card, that's for a man or a woman. I think that you are probably vibrating very high. I think you're about to start a new chapter of your life. That's what it looks like to me. If you haven't already, I see that the wheel is spinning. Good luck is on the way. Again, this could be more money. It could be travel. Um, but I do see that, that things are changing for you. And this is a big month of change. All right. There's, it's almost like a transformation here. You are the master of your emotions and you know that. And I think because you feel so confident with who you are, that you are in the driver's seat and you're moving forward and you are very victorious. I see this as being a very victorious, successful month. All right. We do have the Queen of Wands up there. This person is an entrepreneur. So it's a man or a woman, somebody, you know, who takes on their business and handles it very, very well. It's also somebody who um, is very focused, okay? So I think you're taking on that energy this month. I think you're remaining very focused on your future, you know, <laughs> future financial foundation. Page of Wands. And there's a lot of excitement here this month, too. Um, so I'm not sure if you're excited about your job or you're excited about a partner because we do have the, the twos underneath. So I don't know. There's, there is some excitement here. And I do see that the you have good luck right next to you with that Wheel of Fortune. When that comes up, it's, it's beautiful. It means that there's destiny at play here, okay? I think you're going to take a change of course. Perhaps in the past, you maybe you were worried about a partnership and I, the worry is going away. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. Um, the seven of swords, this is some kind of sneakiness though. Again, with these sevens, I mean, I think you have another seven as well. Either way, sevens are about faith. You need to have faith and trust. Okay. You do. And I, one of my cards came out earlier when I was shuffling and it was faith and trust for you. Um, so I, you do need to have faith and trust. I see that faith and trust in either yourself or or your whoever it is, okay? I see that you maybe you feel you have this intuition about you. You have this thought that somebody's keeping a secret or you're keeping a secret. I see that there's a secret somewhere and I'm not sure where it is, but there's definitely a secret here. Um or somebody feels like somebody is keeping a secret. All right? 
um, because there's something going on behind the scenes. I mean, it, there is with this with this card and this card. There's something going on. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get the next deck. This is for October. You're definitely a master of your emotions this month. I see you being very this is a very successful month for money um there could be definitely be some travel this month maybe some of you are even moving physically um i see that in the work the work uh, arena or finances or business or whatever that looks very very good and successful you could take in more money this month for some reason um i see your intuition is dead on okay but i think there's there's a, some kind of secret that you know about that really isn't a secret so whatever comes to your mind when i say this that it's probably you know true okay um You've invested a lot. You've invested a lot of time and you've invested some money. You've invested a lot in your future. That's what this card said. It says that you have been dreaming about it. I see that you are a big dreamer, Pisces. And this month, I think your dreams are finally starting to come to fruition because you, you believe that, you know, you can have these dreams, but you have to, you have to work you can't just sit back and let them happen i mean you know that you have to do something about it and i see that you have i think that you are a dreamer and you have been following your dreams and perhaps they are starting to come true this month queen of coins could be with a taurus virgo or capricorn person okay maybe that's what you've been dreaming about or somebody who has a lot of earth in their chart the moon and this is you right next to this person okay now you have it twice this is like I said it's it's kind of like a secretive thing like things are, are secretive um, like there's something going on behind the scenes I mean this could also be karma it could be destiny um, it, it feels like um, there's some fear. There's some fear this month. You're afraid of something. Are you afraid? Let's see. Let's see. Let's get some more cards. This is moving. Moving. This is the change. Are you afraid of change? Of com I don't know. Is it commitment? I wanted to say commitment, but I stopped myself. Are you afraid of commitment because this is the change and you have this card twice now? All right. Are you afraid of juggling too much at once, like having a partner and a job at the same time? Or moving for some reason? It looks like you may be afraid to... Maybe maybe somebody wants more of a commitment and you don't want to move. I mean, there could be so many different... There's so many different people here. This is, this is attention as well. The magician is about attention and it's about awareness. So maybe... You're afraid to give somebody attention. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this is. But this is awareness and it is connected to this earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, I just think that maybe you're, you're afraid. Maybe you're afraid of, I'm not sure what it is. But you will know what your fear is. You will. This magician comes up that says, you have all the tools inside you to make this work out. This is a very intuitive card as well, along with the High Priestess, which is now buried in you. Okay, you're very intuitive anyway, but I think you have a major awareness where you know things. You know, and I think you have this fear inside of you of maybe commitment. Maybe that's what it is. Because you is it might the choice might be um, juggling too many things at once, like a career and a partner. You know, that could be a... A fear like can I really do that or do I even want to do that I don't know this right here the two of coins this is about change it's about um, things could change is on the horizon you have three twos okay change is on the horizon you're gonna have to just struggle through it you can you it's not gonna be that hard this is a little bit of change it's not that bad all right It looks like a very successful month. It does. It looks like a very successful month for you, Pisces. Um, I 
It's so successful. It is. I think you have this divine connection with the universe or your God or whoever it is that is leading you along the way. And your dreams are starting to come true. I do. I mean, the sevens are about faith. The twos are about faith as well. Faith and trust. So I think that you just have to have faith and trust in the divine plan. There's a lot of divineness here. Okay. Two came out. Look at that. I'm going to have to use them both. You got lucky. I'm going to zoom that in. Anyway, so this month looks very successful, and I think you made it happen. I might have to turn the camera a little bit. My apologies. Oh, well, I guess I can't get it perfect, can I? All right. Focus on love, 24. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. It is easy to see the faults in other people. I may have pronounced that wrong. It is easy to see the faults in other people. Think of the positive characteristics of the people in your life. Remember the things that caused you to love them in the first place. Focusing on the love will change and heal the negativity that was once there. I think that's a perfect card for your reading. I do. I think that's part of the fear. There was negativity and it needs to be replaced with positivity. All right, number six. Ooh, be willing to express love. When we express love, we begin to receive more love. That's why that fear, like a commitment. I, yeah, I see it. We are truly loving individuals. Taking time to express love to others helps them realize that they are supported and loved. As we practice this custom, it helps us to become more loving. Once we desire to become a more loving person, it is easier to recognize opportunities to be loving. Be willing to express love. <laughs> well, that's a good card. So, I think it's a successful month for you. I do. I think that there is love involved this month, and you just got your advice. Express it openly. Focus on it. Okay? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It looks like a beautiful, new, long-term chapter is ahead of you with the world in the wheel card. Okay? And I think this is destiny. You have a lot of destiny here. Talk to you later, Pisces.